You all remember a couple videos back we made a visit to the Glasshouse Nursery in Chatham. Remember I mentioned manual labor. Guys, when you go to places like that, it's going to cost you. That, my friends, is a trailer. I'm off to pick up a load of gravel. Well, decorative stone. Don't you dare call it gravel. We'll see you there. All right, we got our load of stone. We're just leaving the glasshouse nursery back there. I should say our load of manual labor. We're gonna head back home and dump it in the driveway. I got all the stone unloaded. That was a bit of a chore. Actually, we didn't think there was going to be enough, but I think there might be. Let me show you what we're doing here. Probably not aware, but many, many years ago down here, someone had gravel back in here. Jen decided she wanted grass, but the gravel was so deep that there's no way to get rid of it. It could never grow grass. Insert two German Shepherds later. No grass, just mud. Her great plan is to put it back to gravel, but a nice stone. So here's what we're doing. Here's where manual labor comes into play. So we've got a bunch of the weed mat. So we're going to run it along here, along here, and down the side over here, up to where my patio starts for my barbecue. Eventually, i got to pull up the tiles for the barbecue, put some more matting down and some nice stone underneath so that it sits level. But now I've got to get all that stone from there two here we're talking about manual labor here if I buy a wheelbarrow am I cheating or should I find a five gallon pail and just do it maybe I'm just cheap anyway I gotta get that stone moved from there to here don't think I'm gonna get it all done tonight but we'll see how that goes well I just ran Paul's trailer back to him thanks Paul for letting me use your trailer creating more work for me not you creating the work, I, she created the work. Let's be real about this. Just dropped this trailer off, watched some mallards fly around this field. The pond is looking full of water, and I mean it's looking full. Other than one year when it overflowed into the field, I don't remember seeing it that high. Anyway, we're gonna head back home. I think I'm gonna put some more gravel down. It's starting to look pretty good. I don't wanna stop or I may just give it up and you know what I think I'm gonna take the rest of the night off you know why because I said so she might have other plans but I, I'm just gonna have to put my foot down and say that's enough it's getting late I need some dinner I'll see you all in the morning or in 10 minutes hopefully it's the morning all right well it's starting to get a little bit dark I think Jen felt bad for me when I was off to Paul's taking the trailer back she's out here slugging some stone here's what we got we're going to dig a barrier here for this brown stone will be over here in front of the shop and up almost to the barbecue like I said reason is two German Shepherds there's already a lot of gravel here so it turned into a mud hole Jenny was out slinging some stone while I was gone, weren't you? Were you slinging stone while I was gone? Yeah, well, somebody had to do it. You were out. I was off doing what? Galvan? Talking to Paul. It takes time. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for today. I'm going to pick this up again tomorrow. We do need another load, though. See you all in the morning. Well, it's been a couple of days since we got the gravel put down here. 
Like I said before, we gotta put more along this edge back here. The dilemma I'm facing right now is, told y'all before that the previous owner had gravel down here, then Jim wanted dirt, so there was dirt and nothing ever grew grass-wise. Trying to dig a trench along here. Put this border in to keep the gravel in one spot. However, this is what's under here. This ain't dirt. This is not dirt. That's gravel. Makes it a little tougher digging a trench. Good thing I'm not going very deep. But we're going to get that dug. Get the uh, liner put in so that our gravel doesn't end up out in the backyard. Somehow I'm thinking the way that we uncoiled that coil, that's not how you uncoil the coil. What? I'm telling everybody that the way we uncoiled that coil is not probably not the way you uncoil the coil. They'll understand that. Well guys, it's been a couple of days. Come up short on the gravel, story of my life. Got the trailer in tow, we're headed back to Glass House to get another load. Hopefully we can get this project finished today. All right, we got our stone. We're just about back home now. I'm not going to bore you with watching me unload that again or struggle to unload that again. All right, well, I saved you all my whining, belly aching, complaining from having to unload that second load of stone. Here's where we're at. I have the stone going all the way up here. I'm going to get some, out of pressure wash the fence, get some plants to hang on the fence, a little more greenery down in here. But I think the next job in the barbecue area that uh, tile's got to come up. I got to put new gravel down and put it out nice and smooth and this area here will be done. I need to go have a nap. That's it. Hit the subscribe button while you're here. I'll see you on the next one. Later. You guys are the reasons we had to do this. Yeah you. It is Axel and Dee had the same birthday today. Hey, is it your birthday? So here's what I'm digging out of here. I'm trying to dig a, dig a, trying to dig a trench.